DNA methylation uh, is a very small molecule. It's a methyl group that's added to the cytosine. It may also be added to adenine in bacterial systems, but it's a very, very small molecule um, uh, that's added to the, the cytosine. And it um, doesn't alter the DNA in any way, but produces this little tiny functional group on top of DNA. And a lot of enzymes, a lot of proteins uh, can be rejected um, as a result of this methyl group being uh, put on. And then we have a whole sets of enzymes and proteins that actually look at and bind to that methyl group. So it's a very small modification. It's so-called the fifth base. And hydroxymethylation that we were talking about before is sometimes called the sixth base because it's cytosine, but it's been changed and altered very, very uh, uh, minimally by a methyl group or a hydroxymethyl group. And um, these are covalent changes, so that uh, once a, a cytosine is methylated, it's very difficult to remove that methyl group um, enzymatically. It's almost impossible. So once DNA is methylated, it stays methylated. Well, honeybees is an extremely interesting example of, of epigenetic changes that, that occur. So a hive of, of honeybees has one genetic sequence. They're all clones of each other. They're all clones of the, of the queen. So identical sequences. But what differentiates um, male drones from uh, the queen, from worker bees? And remember that the worker bee and a drone bee and a queen bee have very different um, roles in the hive. Obviously, the queen is, is uh, laying the eggs. She lasts uh, up to three years um, in a hive, so she overwinters. The drone bees, for example, uh, only live for a very short period of time, and they're basically uh, a sperm on, on wings. So again, same genetics, but different morphologies, different actions, and different um, uh, things that they do. A worker bee, on the other hand, um, starts out life um, uh, taking care of the brood and then um, goes off and flies and collects nectar, collects pollen, and all of these other things. So the, the differences between queens and drones and worker bees is very different um, in their roles in the hive, yet their DNA is identical to each other. So what changes um, have happened to this DNA that creates this, uh, um, these differences in, in, in all of these things. So the changes are epigenetic. It's DNA methylation. It's DNA modification that has turned off certain genes in these um, worker bees, turned off certain genes in these um, uh, drones. But in the queen, all genes are active. So methylation has been removed. Uh, during um, times of stress or times that the hive has determined that we need another worker or another queen, workers will start feeding a, a normal um, egg the substance called royal jelly. Royal jelly has so many different compounds, but one of the compounds that we believe um, is in royal jelly is that it inhibits an um, enzyme called DMT1 methyltransferase. DMT1 methyltransferase methylates DNA, well, in all mammalian systems or, or insect systems as well. So this royal jelly is being added to uh, these eggs during development, and it demethylates uh, a whole subset of genes uh, in the egg, and then the egg becomes a queen as a result. So this is a, a great example, uh, like I said, of, of feeding something food and, and in food changing the epigenetic signature uh, during development, changing the DNA methylation pattern during development. In this case, removing the DNA, uh, removing the methylation from the DNA.